Let me guess. Oh! Oh, wait, no, never mind. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. Uh... Absolutely not! Absolutely not! That I will not allow! Don't even know who this bitch is trying to kill my rightful heir. But I won't have it! He is destined to rule this kingdom! And look at that! How perfect is that? You don't see that every day. Having the exact amount of morale left that you reduce every tick. That is just... That is beauty, if ever I've seen it. It's a wonderful thing. Who are you anyways? Why do you want him dead? You're... Paranoid. Of course. And an underhanded rogue who probably wants to... Try your metal, eh? Okay. I'm, I'm just going to assault the, the next thing. Because, seriously, screw all these endless sieges. There. Place is secured. And I... Oh, 6.6% .6 every tick. Oh. Oh, it's going to be a long night. A long night. I mean, how many ticks is that anyways? So in 10, you're down two-thirds. So I guess 16 ticks. And 16... Every 12 days, that's... What is it? Uh, that's like... Uh, nearly 200 days. And as if to make matters worse... I now need to go and deal with this. Why can't you just crawl into a hole and die like I want you to? Why is it so hard? Why <laughs> is it so hard? Oh! Oh! Oh, another 500 troops walking into the fray. Okay. Well, these guys are basically doomed. The Yulander army is wiped out. That's actually not as good as it seems. Because now that means they can re-raise their army anew. And it'll probably be stronger than it was before. Well, whatever. Still got this going for me. No visible raiders doing any damage. Enemy armies being beaten into dust. And sieges going slowly. So, enemies are going to Warwick. They'll probably retreat up here to Westmoreland. I don't want to chase them. I want to influence this siege in a manner that is positive to my cause. Those guys will be back eventually, and when they do come back, I'll just have to kill them some more.
loathsome is the idea. I mean, I mean, not the concept of killing them. I like that. What I dislike is the concept of having to drop what I'm fucking doing to go do that. I mean, there's no way they can win the war at this point. They're just too weak. But boy, can they annoy me. I mean, it's been so long since I started this war, that I barely even remember the uh, land-grubbing zeal I had at the start. So, on an emotional level, I'm actually not that invested in it. But it's like Vietnam to me. I can't leave because if I do, that would mean all the shit I've gone through would have been for nothing. And besides which, I'm actually winning this war, unlike Vietnam. God, the strategy for the Vietnam War was just so stupid. And it wasn't even a strategy. They just went there and said, oh, we'll stop the rebellion. Yeah. Didn't work out so well. And then later on, they start invading a couple of other countries, which aren't even involved in the war. I mean... I get it. The North Vietnamese were smuggling arms to the communist rebels through Laos and Cambodia. So there is value in trying to stop that. But you'd think that the actual good decision in all that would be to just invade North Vietnam to cut the supplies off entirely and, you know, not invade a bunch of non-belligerent countries in a manner that would, in effect, cause their anti-communist governments to be collapsed by more communist rebels stirred up by the conflict you're causing there? I mean... I'm just saying, the whole strategy for the Vietnam War, it was, it was idiotic. It was, it was just stupid. That war could have been fought a whole hell of a lot better. I mean, I suppose if you have to invade North Vietnam, that would make the Chinese very skitterish. I mean, you know they wouldn't like that. But here's the thing. What do you think would happen if you did that? I mean, obviously the Chinese couldn't allow you to just... Couldn't allow the United States to just place a bunch of troops on their border. So what would probably end up happening is what happened in the Vietnam War. You know, the Chinese join the war, and then it becomes less of a guerrilla war and more of just a straight-up conflagration between two major parties that would eventually end in a ceasefire and something that would have been similar to status quo antebellum. I mean, the downside is it would mean war with China. The upside is it would give you an opportunity to win the war or at least not lose as badly as the U.S. historically did lose in Vietnam, which was really badly. Okay, change your plans. Go to Oxford. Go into hiding. Go to Oxford. We can get Oxford down more easily. There's a lot of enemies crawling all over the place. I'm not going to worry about them. This war is almost done and over with. It's probably safe to assault this. 
And then the next one is very low on men, so that should be no serious trouble to assault then. So... Come on. Just need an assault here. And then... Ooh, that actually was pretty nasty. But now we're incredibly close. You die? Oh. Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Wait, don't I have unlanded sons? I do. So, who's the better leader amongst the two? I mean, he's got better stewardship, so I'm going to give it to this guy. You can have Ulster. And actually, you know what? The other one gets Tyrone. Yeah. That arrangement worked out quite well. But hey, when I did that, I inherited a shit ton of money. So you know what? You know what? This is happening now. We're doing this, man. We're making this happen. Yes! Yes! Oh. Oh, this is so beautiful. So beautiful. It's finally happened. That... That's a bit weird, but... I'm not, not too concerned about it. Because we are now the Jewish fucking Aztec Empire. And what's this? A Kamapishtli? Well, hold it, hold it, hold it. No. It's still... Should be fucking Chimalpi. Where is he? He should be in this list. Yes. The Jewish Aztec Empire is here, and all shall bow before me. <sighs> and look how fast that's going. I tell you, we become the Empire, and everything, everything is just going good for us now. Just going good for us. Ah. <sighs> I tell ya, this is the life, guys. This is the life. Huh. Now, see, I should really be ending the episode soon. But I guess I do really want to win this war first. I am out of time, though. But look at that! And that... That, my dear good friends... Is peace at last. Peace in 
our fucking time, bitches. And this, this is just a triumphant day for the newly founded Jewish Aztec Empire. Long live Alexander! Wait, no, he's dead, isn't he? Long live Victor! Hooray! Well, anyways, I'm out of time for today, so... Until next time, I am Lord Ravenwork. This has been great, and I will see you all later. Bye! Whoa, whoa, what the... My son! The one who just automatically got boosted as my, uh... As my heir when I founded the Empire died randomly? I... Well... Sucks for you then, boyo. Anyways, bye!